Let's get to our friend from Fox 29, Gary Cobb, and get Gary's thoughts here on this. Eagles now 6-0, and Gary. And G. Cobb, I got to say, man, I mean, you know, they weren't exceptional offensive statistics last night, held under 300 yards in total offense, but they didn't have to be, right? Give me your takeaways from last night's game. Well, you know, uh, I'll tell you, the thing you got to give credit to is, you know, Dallas has got an outstanding defense. I mean, you got to you got to give that to them. I mean, when it comes to speed to the quarterback, man, <laughs> they do not give you a lot of time. I mean, they are coming off that corner. So you can see the speed of their defense, of the pass rushers and everything. But, um, but the big thing, I think you hit it on the head. Look, it's about winning. And, and if you want to win as a quarterback, you can't turn the ball over. It, you know, it, it's the number one stat next to the score of the game that causes you to lose is turning that football over. And that's one thing that Cooper Rush, he hadn't done that. But they got three of them. They got three. And, and really, that was a key. That set up easy scores, you know. And it really put the, the Cowboys' defense – with their backup, you know, I mean, they, it puts them, put them in a bad situation. And uh, I will say this, though, uh, you know, you had two good football teams out there playing. And when you have two foot, two good football play, uh, teams playing, you know, it's not just what one team just dominates the other team. <clears throat> Both teams have times where they take over the game. And I will give them credit. That was a good game. And I thought that, you know, Jalen – the thing about him, man, you you know, he doesn't just talk it. He plays it, which is I'm keeping my head. I'm not going to be getting crazy because there are times, you know, they're coming after him. You know, a quarterback can let that, you know, that can get to you. And the way you start throwing the ball, you start being careless. Uh, you 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 get to where you just get frustrated. I mean, you see uh, all the time with, with Kyler Murph, uh, Murray, you see the, the difference in the two quarterbacks. Dude is making all these motions and showing up his wide receivers like every time it's incompletion. Of course, it's their fault. He's doing a that's nonsense. Don't you don't show your guys up like that. And you know, Jalen is a leader. And he kept his head. You know, he did not panic. He didn't start taking chances. Careful with the football, smart with the football. And they were able to, you know, put that game away with that drive now. With it all on the line, man. Hey, that's look at the drive they put together there. No, man, that was what, that was. The, I I thought that was. I mean, that's that's how, winning football. That's championship football. When you against that defense, you put it together. You drive it down, and you stick it in the end zone on them. Come on. Yeah, no, they ran them. I I thought they ran them off the clock. They ran them off the field too. Yep. You know, you you know what I love what they're doing with this customized RPO offense for Jalen mm -hmm. is that. You know what, Gary, tell me if you see the same observation. On third down in seven or eight, mm -hmm. man, they're staying away from the high percentage turnover play. They're yeah. not going to chuck it. 45. Brady made a career out of doing this. He, st he stayed away from yeah. the high percentage turnover play. That's why when they say to him, hey, if you don't see it, take off. I mean, yeah. he breaks people down and the edge is down. Teams can't set the edge on this guy. And to me, like you said, three turnovers versus no turnovers. He plays no turnover football yep. because fundamentally they stay away from that high turnover play. Do you agree with that what you're saying? Yes, and, and I got to give them credit also with the way that they they, they ran uh, uh, a couple times. You know, they're running a play where they put Micah Parsons in a position where he is the guy that they're reading, you know, so he can't be as aggressive because whichever way you go, you're wrong. So they, they're coming out. They got Jalen's coming out there with the ball. And he got A.J. out there in the flat, just dumping over his head. And they got him in a position where uh, they're utilizing his aggressiveness against them, where you're, you're running the option on their best player. And uh, I, I think that, that was excellent. And you, you saw where they had certain things designed, where they went for it on fourth down, where he's chinking, chunking the ball to A.J., who's wide. I mean, not a little open wide open it's like you know two kids playing in the backyard you know uh you know that kind of design where they knew hey anytime we want this we can take this you know five ten yards is ours so you got to give the coaches credit you know for that design uh but but i i, I look back man you know Jalen talks this way and you could you know a lot of guys talk it 
But when you go out and you play it, you show the same discipline to where the other guys on the team, they got to say, I don't care how old he is. He's a young guy. And for them to say, you know what? This dude is our leader, man. This dude is our leader. He goes out there and he doesn't just talk it. He goes out there and does it. And they see the way he's improved. I mean, he's just become a much better uh, player with the way that he can roll to his left and throw. He's accurate with the throw. And he's able to, you know, get sit, get situations where he's making the proper read. It, it's like they're just taking easy money. <laughs> you know, I, as a defense, you got to be, oh, man. Talk. And they got you in a situation where whatever you decide to do, you are wrong. You know, and and that's the design of the whole thing with the offense, with the with with that option offense, with uh, what they do. And I got to give uh, you know the line credit. The offensive line was banged up. By those guys, they got some injuries in there. It's going to be great that they're able to take a week off. But this is the way the NFL is, which is somebody's got to go in there and play hurt. No, they're that that the that's whole the, unit there, Gary. Yeah. You know, I want to ask you, but I'm going to go back and ask you the same question I asked you a couple weeks ago. You know, I was telling everybody here, Jack Driscoll may not be the best left tackle, the best yeah. left guard or the best right guard or yeah. right tackle for that matter. Yeah. But his experience that he's getting right now at being versatile, you know this as well as I do. The more you could do in the league, it makes it more so you could stay in the league. And the That's more right. you can do that, now you get Andre <laughs> Dillard back too. Yeah. Now you're going to be deeper, like you said, with the bye here. So yeah. is this offensive line, in your opinion, Look what do when they need to run the ball on a 13 play drive. Yeah. They go do it. When they need to pass, bro, they do it. Yep. Is this line better? I think this line may be better than that 17 line. You saw it up close and personal. You know, Is it? It, yeah, I, I think they could be. I think they definitely could be. Now they, they're doing a lot of things similar, which is, you know, they had um, you know, a big Peters went down, and um, I forget his name right offhand, but you know, he I think I'm, I'm not sure who he's playing with now, but anyway. They had a left tackle step in there and do the job. I mean, with everything on the line. So, so that's a, that's a lot to ask, but they're doing it right now. I mean, if you what to say, you know, the coach always say, if you're looking for sympathy, you can find it in the dictionary. Nobody's <laughs> feeling sorry for you. Get in there, do your job. You know, if we send you out there and if, look, if you got a uniform on, it's because we think you can play. Okay. That's why you got the uniform on. So, no apologies, because nobody's making no apologies to you. So we we don't need to hear it. We don't need to hear excuses and just go out there and do your job. And that's what they did. And you know that's the way the NFL is. I mean, that's the great thing about the game, which is when we got what time is the game at four o'clock? Be ready at four o'clock because whatever happens happens then. If you can't do it, then we don't want to hear the excuses. Okay, and. That's the way they play, and, and and that's why those guys went out there. They stepped up, and with that game on the line, when they go out there in that fourth quarter, Dallas is on their heels. Dallas has taken over the game. They got the momentum, everything, and the the, the, the crowd. What can they do but sit there and watch? Dallas is coming back. They just marched for two scores. The defense is putting pressure on Hurts. What can you do? They said, you know what? We're going to bring an extra tight end. You know what? We're running the ball down your throat. Oh, no. you Yeah, we're running the ball down your throat, and we're going to execute when we need to. We got these other plays here we're going to run when we need it, and we're going down and we're scoring. That's championship football. If you can do that, you can win against the, the, the best teams in the league, and that's what they did, and that was great. That was in front of everybody with them having lost. They had lost control of that game. The Cowboys had taken control, but then they said, you know what? You know what? We want this game more than you, and we are running this ball down your throat. I sure did, too, Gary, it. like you said there. Yeah. Gary, what have you been more impressed with defensively, the cornerback play or the front seven? Well, last night, doggone, it was the corners, man. I mean, last night, golly. Dude, that CJ can play. <laughs> yeah, he, he can, can play. play. He can play, man. He can play, and – because what you've got is you really got a guy who's really got cornerback skills and yeah. he's playing, he's playing safety. See, that's what they got. And I mean, it's, it's, it was a great move that they made bringing him on because the kid is just a great athlete and you know, he's got the, uh, he's got the willingness to come up and tackle people. Cause that's what you got to have at the safety position. 
Uh, but, the, you know, the big thing, and then you had Slay basically running the route. I guess it was Gallup. He ran, he ran his route for him to get that interception. And uh, Bradbury, man, dude is playing, man. He's He must have knocked down five or ten balls. I mean, golly. Yeah, that was just um, some outstanding play. And, and then I got to give Dallas credit for battling back. They made a game of it, but doggone it, you know, the uh, – the, the plays they made, you know, it was it was a good game. It was a, it was a game where you saw two teams that wanted it, and uh, that's what you expect in that situation because you know they know they're battling for things. But it's still early. We know that hey, we're gonna see those guys again. So and probably and probably with Dak, probably, probably as a starting Dak, quarterback. Right. Gary, what yep. does a game like that mean for the team and most notably for Jalen Hurts? Well, it's another step when you talk talking about building a championship team see this this is you know when you go out and you're playing against teams when it's on the line and you know you can say okay well you can just step it up doggone we're taking this and and you can do that with it on the line I mean that's that's great offenses do that you know the great offenses in the past they were able to do that when we got to have a score we're going down here and we're going to take back over this game and that's what they did on that drive and that's the that's the thing that you know it's 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 um it if you can do that against the best and that, they're one of the best defenses in the league and they did that against them, they knew what was on the line and they couldn't stop them, you know they they you know they even though they had taken over the game because a lot of times you know momentum like once you lose it man it's hard to get back but they went out there and they took back over the momentum with everything going the Cowboys way. That's why all the Cowboys can do is get on the plane, man. It, ah, we don't want to hear it. How about, uh, no. There's nothing else to say. All those guys on the defense, and they got some great players over there. They, they can't, There's nothing else to say. I mean, they drove the, with the game on the line. They drove the ball down their throat and scored. Gary, so, how about this? Let me go here with this one here. Like, you know, I mean, there's no question here. When you're looking at what this team has accomplished here, at six and zero, oh, how do you temper what the success has happened now? Because learning to win, also, you know, you've got to now. You're going into a bye. You're going to hear how great you are, okay. how great things are right now. Sirianni is pumping his chest. By the way, he's got to be considered the coach of the year so far, at least going into his bye. Uh -huh. um, how do you think again? The leaders on the football team would go. Hey, we're one to know this week, or you know, all the cliches that how well, do you handle success? That's what they have got to not only say it, but they got to live it. Because come on, it's just six games in. They don't give out any trophies after six games. They don't give out any championships. So, you know, they got to be serious about it, meaning that they can't just be talking it to the mics when they get interviewed. No, it's got to be serious because th these other teams like Dallas. Dallas, come on, they're gonna get better because you know they when you get you get you get your butt whooped, you go back, you look in the mirror. That's what they're gonna do. And they're gonna go, we need to get better. We need to get better. Now it wasn't a blowout game, it was a close game. So they know, hey, look, we didn't we weren't playing with our with our starting quarterback. We think we can get better. Okay. Chances are they will be better the next time. So the Eagles got to realize, look, man, we haven't won anything. You know, we got all these games to play. And a lot of these teams, you know, that are not there right now, meaning like the Eagles have started off and they've played at a higher level. You know, some of the teams are going to get on a get in a groove. And they got teams that have won championships that are in, in, the, in their conference. So those teams are going to be there at the end. You know, they might not be playing their baseball, best football now, but some of them, they know what it's like to win a Super Bowl title. So they're going to see those teams down the road. So if they start celebrating, they will wind up losing the biggest games. So there's Gary, no I'll time for any celebrate. Yeah. Your point? I mean, think about this. Man, the Rams look like yeah, they're they look, in shambles. Look, look the bad. 49ers lose. Yep. The Bucks go into yep. a place where the Steelers only had one win. Yes, and they look terrible. I mean, the red zone yep. offense, they couldn't get it in from one yard with Tom mm -hmm. Brady, one of the best um, fourth down and one quarterbacks on quarterback sneaks. They couldn't get it in. And yep. here are the Eagles playing and doing things. Like you said, I mean, dude, they didn't have to throw for 355 yards against the Cowboys because 
They made Cooper Rush try to win the ball game. That's right. They played not Excellent high turnover there. football. Yep. I mean, they're just systematically going about it. I'm going to say this about Jalen and tell me if you agree. I don't think that Jalen will ever be an elite passer, okay? he's mm-hmm. He's got six touchdowns. However, he's going to be an elite quarterback because, again, look at these six wins, Gary. From Detroit to Minnesota – uh-huh. to the Jags, every game has been different. Every game has had their own chapter in this 17-game uh-huh. book of a season for these guys. And to me, that makes you hard to defend, doesn't it? Because it's like yeah. a chameleon. You don't know how to defend it or game plan against them. Well, they have they have so many weapons. and that's. Am I right when the- I see that? Yes, I, I think you're right. I mean, I, I think with this team, the one thing about them, man, is every area – they got people that can show up and take over a game and win a game. I mean, you look at Goddard. He can have a game where, he, hey, 180 yards. What? You're not shocked because he's that good of a tight end. You look at A.J. Brown and you look at Devontae Smith. They've all had times where they took over the game. And nobody's shocked. The guy's that good of a player. So you got these different types of talents on the team. So you know that wherever we need to go, we can win the game with this guy or we can win the game with that guy. That really puts a lot of pressure on a defense because most of the time you go into a game, you go, we got to take away this guy. You can't really do that with the Eagles. I mean, because Devontae, you could take away A.J. Brown. Devontae Smith can put up a 180, 200-yard game. And, and nobody's shocked because he, he's that good. You know how good uh, A.J. Brown is. And I, I mentioned Goddard. And then with way uh, Miles Sanders is playing, who's a tremendous talent. It just seems like he's grown into that talent. You think I mean, he's underappreciated, Miles Sanders? I, I think he is because, you know, he hasn't done it for a long time. But I think that he clearly has the talent. I mean, he's he got the speeds and, and strength and, and, and uh, athletic ability uh, of the best backs in the league. It's just a matter of him having the focus where he takes care of the football, where he's smart about, you know, the blitz pickup and all that type of thing. But he's grown into that. And he's playing on that level. And that's why this team, they haven't played their best football. They have not played their best football. And that's the thing that really is, is the is the, is the Gary, uh, does it concern the you the that league. they don't really put teams to sleep in the second half, so to speak? I mean, does is that a concern that yes. they get they get a lead and then here's here's Gannon and here's my point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gannon will do this. He'll be really decent in the first half. Teams go in, make their adjustments. Then what he does is he sits back in that zone. The good quarterbacks and teams find the open space in that zone, and that's why teams are able to kind of crawl back and get into ball games um, against the Eagles. Then they go on, like you said, then they go on a 13-play drive, and then they run you off the clock. I mean, does that concern yeah. you, though, that style? It, it, it definitely does because, you know, the best teams have killer instinct. You know, they, they get rid of you. Uh, they don't let you hang around. You know, they put you to sleep where, you know, it's time where, look, we might as well go get back on the bus. Yeah. That's the way the good teams do. <laughs> and, you know, they got to develop that. That's something that's been missing. And it's a key element because, you know, uh, if you let people come back, they will come back. And you see, they've had bad teams that have come back against them. Come on. So that is the w- one weakness that you identified is the, is the biggest problem that you see that's still there, which is. You can't, you can't just go to sleep. You don't have, you know, you got to play the entire game. You can't just go to sleep and uh, and let people climb back in it. And they've done it. Come on, they've just made a habit of it. It's the one thing that's a glaring error that they've had. It's it's glaring because it's it's been so ugly because you've let teams that are not even that good do it. I mean, you let Arizona do it. Arizona's not a – come on, they're not a good team right now. Lions? The Lions did it. I mean – you know that's that's the one thing. It looks it's a it's an ugly sore there, and it's happened game after game, uh, and that's the one thing they need to be talking about because they got to clean that up, man. You know they do come out and jump on people, which you love that, but then then they go to sleep for a while. Hey Gary, finally, yeah, Hertz has won eleven to twelve regular season ball games. His last twelve ball games, he's eleven and one. And at the end of the year, there's going to have to be a serious conversation with Clutch Sports on what you're doing with him. And to me, again, 
he's not Josh Allen. He's not Joe Burrow. He's not mm-hmm. some of these other like passing type guys. I mean, look, the guy in Buffalo has 20 passing touchdowns already. Jalen's got six. Most people are gauged on being an elite pocket passer. Okay. Mm-hmm. He's not. Yeah. What's the one metric you would use if you were Howie Roseman and Jeffrey Lurie, when you sit down with his agent at the end of the year and no, they could, they go to the Eagle management and say, winning here has to matter. But then I go, Jimmy Garoppolo is 41 and 17 and 19. He don't get paid a king's yeah. ransom. That's right. What's the one thing you look at him with him? Is it just an overall bunch of things that they have to put together and make it sound like a great package? Because I can't put my finger on what, what's this, a running quarterback? Well, I don't want Josh Allen running the way he did. He was getting killed in that Kansas City game. Yeah. He ain't making the year if he continues that. Yeah, he, he play. can't keep playing like, like Andrew that. Luck. No. That's what's, right. how, do you, how do you put a metric on him? What's the biggest asset he has that is going to be the most valuable asset? Well, you know, the biggest thing that sticks out, I think, you know, is, uh, you know, he he's, a, he's, he's mature beyond his years. Uh, I think that's the big thing, um, you know, because and then, you know, of course, he's got the athleticism and and, and uh, he's gotten better as a thrower. Uh, but, you know, he, he's not where he has this uh, uh, unbelievable arm talent. That's that's not there when you, you know, you look at uh, Josh Allen and see him throw the ball and everything. But the thing you see with him that's that sticks out is is the uh, is the leadership qualities, you know. I mean, he's got that, and so I think uh, you know I'm going to go to him and I'm going to talk to him about Tom. If I'm if I'm negotiating with him, hey, let's let's talk about you want to win, don't you? You want to win, don't you, uh, Jenny? Yeah, I do want to win. So we want to give you a deal. We want you here. We want to commit to you and everything, but we want to have people with you now. And we, we want to win. We don't want to just uh, be out there playing where, you know, we, w- we want to try to win. So we want to have the best talent with you because that's going to make you the best quarterback. And, you know, you're going to talk to him uh, on that level. Now, you're going to have to give him some money. I mean, 35, you know, you you would, hey, if you, you would go for the 35. I think that's meeting in the Shit. middle. 35? I guarantee. I tell you what, if he took a $35 million a year deal, I would guarantee the whole damn thing for three years. And yeah, I would well, guarantee you know, it would be, it would him be, that. It would be like 35, 40, 45, you know. It, it, have, it would have to be up like that. But, you know, you would you would talk to him about that. Now, we'll see what he's going to take, you know, that, because that's going to be um, the type of thing where you want to have the talent around him. He wants to have the talent around him. And, you know, and then, of course, you know, looking at what everybody's making, I mean, it surely doesn't help when, when you got, uh, you know, Kyler Murray got some money he's making and everything. Uh, but I take Jalen over Kyler Murray oh, all night without, long, without, all day long, without a doubt, without a doubt. Now, the, and that but you'll see, you know, hey, 35, 40, 45, 50, oh, man, the, the money's out there. So that, you know, no, but your point is this, because then you go like this. Well, here's one thing, Jalen, if we give you the $45 million, we can't keep AJ. Hey, you know, you're going to be somebody, I mean, uh, well, Nobody goes. You know, it, well, it might you might be able to you might hang on to AJ, but Devontae's gonna walk there. Yeah, when he I mean, right when it hey, when this, when this that's thing right. comes up, you're gonna go look. We can't keep everybody. That's right. When his bell rings, he's gonna Come want on. money. He and and he's gonna earn it. I mean, with the you look at the numbers, he's gonna have. He's gonna be able to make make argument, and you know you you want to be able to keep as many people as you can, and and that's that's the thing because he is a team guy and. Like I said, you look at the guy got all these rings, the one with all the rings. Yep. He sacrificed he money back. He's got the he's got the rings. A lot of these other guys, you know, they might have an extra, make an extra five million, ten million, but they don't have the rings, man. They do not have the rings. And then you look at these teams, man. See the way some of these teams are falling apart. I mean, the Packers. Well, like, wow. <laughs> that they, hey, Gary, they don't even look like the same. They do not look like the same team. I mean, clearly, you know, you see that how mu- how much he misses a guy who they were on the same Devontae level. Adam. And, uh, Adams, man, he misses him. He misses him severely. Doesn't not does not look even though they wear the same uniforms. It's not the same football team. Even he's struggling. 
in Las Vegas. Gary, we got to roll. It has been okay. awesome, man. And I'll tell you what, a much-deserved break when it comes to uh, the Eagles going into their bye. It's yep. been an amazing run so far to watch here, man. I appreciate it so much, my friend. Thank you. I have a good one. You got it, man. Unbelievable stuff going on right now with Jalen Hurts. Really, I mean, the money is going to be a great conversation at the end of the day here. Guys, don't forget, Morgan & Morgan, where the fee is free. I tell you this, they don't get paid unless you do. That's what that means. If you're hurt or injured on the job, the number one place that you go to is Morgan & Morgan. Folks, with over 800 attorneys and offices in Philly, New York, and in Florida, for the people is not a slogan. This is who they are, and there is no case too small for them to defend you and your family. Last 30 years, they defended it to the tune of $13.5 billion. Call them at 800-512-1600. That's 800-512-1600. The call is free. The consultation is free. 800-512-1600. And when you call Morgan & Morgan, do me a favor. Tell them Big Sill sent you. Many times when people are injured at a place of business, they don't realize they may have a case. The fact is injuries should not happen. And most of the time when someone is injured, someone is at fault. Maybe the store manager installed a cheap, slippery floor, or there wasn't proper security. After an injury at a hotel, restaurant, store, or any place of business, it's so important to call us. Time matters, size matters. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Dot com.